This video is a short video in a video series covering terminology used in aerodynamics. On this video, we're going to concentrate on coefficient of lift. Coefficient of lift uses the symbol C sub L in our equations. In general, the coefficient of lift is used as a measure of the lift of an airfoil section or a wing as the angle of attack of the airfoil or wing changes. The coefficient of lift has no dimensions like feet or meters or pounds or kilograms. Let's talk real quick about this first method of using coefficient of lift that we talked about. On this graph over here, you can see that we have alpha on the bottom, which is our angle of attack. On the left side, we have our coefficient of lift. Typically, the coefficient of lift for an airfoil or wing will be linear for the most of the slope. As the coefficient of lift starts increasing, it usually reaches a maximum. This is typically where the wing or airfoil stalls, which means it starts losing lift as you increase the angle of attack further. Another thing that you'll commonly see on airfoils that have camber is that a zero coefficient of lift, which means the wing is not lifting at all, is at a negative angle of attack. At zero angle of attack, it has some lift. It just so happens that on the airplane we are designing, our coefficient of lift at cruise is pretty close to zero angle of attack. It was about 0.385. This particular airfoil we're using is a GA30U415. Uh, for this airfoil, the 30 means the maximum thickness of the airfoil is at 30% of the cord. The 4 means that it's roughly a 4% camber. The 15 means that the thickness of the wing is about 15% of the cord. This maximum coefficient of lift you see here at around 1.5 is fairly typical for the higher lift airfoils. You can get up to 1.6. The uh, lower lift airfoils will be down around 1.4, 1.3. What do we use the coefficient of lift for? There are a number of things that we can use it for. For example, one is to figure out what the peak coefficient of lift is for an airfoil or wing, as we saw on the previous slide. It's also used in comparing lift to drag. C sub D is a symbol for coefficient of drag. As we've talked about, C sub L is coefficient of lift. Where you get the maximum lift over drag is where your plane will have its best glide slope. So we can use this to help estimate the performance of our airplane. Uh, what the coefficient of lift is typically used for is determining surface area of the wing, if you already know the weight and the velocity. Or you can move these around. If you uh, want to know what the weight is, you can take this denominator and put it up here, do your calculation, and get the weight. If you want to know what velocity you'll have with a certain weight, certain surface area, certain coefficient of lift, you can move velocity up here and then S down here and then take the square root. You'll get the velocity for a certain surface area, weight, and coefficient of lift. The Ultralight Airplane Workshop has a playlist that contains all of these short videos for aerodynamic terminology that have been created so far. I'll put a link to that playlist down in the description of the video. There's also a web page that contains these terms. There will be a link for the web page down in the description also. In the design videos for the UWS-1 airplane that we are designing, we will frequently have links during the video to these terminology videos so that you can stop the video you're watching, come watch a terminology video, and then go back to the video you're watching.